If you're like me, you got a brain just filled with fear, worry, and doubt, but there might be a solution to it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And today's problem is fear, doubt, and worry. And this video is in honor of the so sad series finale of the Netflix show Sense8, which will be out on June 8th, I believe. But anyways, like share this video. If you know somebody, or if you're somebody who struggles with anxiety and just constant thoughts of fear and worry and predicting these poor outcomes, like share this video because I guarantee it will be helpful, all right? So, real quick Sense8 review recap, without spoilers. If you haven't seen Sense8, like what are you waiting for? You need to go watch it right now. It is just one of the best shows on Netflix or ever created, and I can't stress that enough. So anyways, what Sense8 is about, basically there is a gene that gets activated inside of people. It's kind of like epigenetics, and it links a cluster of eight people up almost telepathically. So this focuses around a certain cluster of Sense8s, and they can connect, they can uh, hear and see and feel and get in each other's thoughts and things like that. But it's, uh, it's really interesting if you're into kind of like superhero sci-fi stuff, but like, even if you're not like a superhero nerd or anything, and by the way, there's no special powers aside from that, but the, the dialogue and the message of this show is just so amazing. Like it is beautifully written and I just love it so, so, so much. Like everybody I've introduced to this show absolutely loves it. So in this video, I'm gonna focus on my boy, Caffius. This guy is just so optimistic and happy. And you, you know what? I'm gonna show you a clip right now. Goodbye, my zebra. I have this feeling. I'm going to have a really good day today. So basically, Caffius starts out each day by saying that, and it is just, it's so great. Like, you can't help but get in a good mood when you watch him, right? But anyways, um, I wanted to talk about this kind of optimism to counteract the fear, doubt, and worry that we get in our brain when uh, we have this fear of the unknown. Like, that is anxiety's worst enemy, is just not knowing what's going to happen. And anxiety is based on a fear response, so our natural thoughts are going to be completely negative. So it's one of the reasons why you keep optimistic people around in your life because they're able to kind of counteract that, but you can also train yourself to counteract that as well. But anyways, I want to talk about the best moment from the entire series and it comes from season one. And basically what you're seeing here is the young woman, Riley, she is flying back home, but she's had this idea that she's cursed and she has bad luck back home. And if she returns back home, something really bad's gonna happen, but check it out. What if something terrible happens because of me going back? What if something wonderful happens? Hmm? So yeah, as, as silly as it might sound, I literally use that line all the time. I use it with my clients, I use it with my son, I use it with myself, I use it with my friends. Like, when people are coming to me and they're so worried because change is happening, and they're like, what if it goes awful? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? And there's all these negative scenarios running through their head. I remind them, I'm like, what if something amazing happens? What if this change is the best thing to ever happen to you in your life? Like, think about that for a second. The next time you go through a breakup or you lose a job or you have to move and your brain is just racing and saying all these negative things that can happen, what if this is the best thing that could ever happen to you in your life? Like, this is something that I'm able to default to a lot more than I used to be because I, I had this huge negative bias, but one of the reasons why is because I have actual proof from multiple scenarios in my life where something that I thought was bad ended up being the best thing to ever happen to me in my entire life. And had I not been put in that situation, this amazing thing would have never ever happened. Basically, what, what you're doing is when you get into these states of fear and worry and doubt and you remind yourself like, what if something amazing happens? What if something incredible happens? Like when you remind yourself that, it actually changes the neural pathways in your brain so you start to be a little bit more optimistic. I will link up in the info card as well as in the end screen a video I made about that glasses 
half full, glass is half empty mentality and how that actually works. You can actually rewire your brain to be more optimistic. And when you are more optimistic, you're a lot less filled with these worries and fears that go through your head, all right? But anyways, anyways, I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. Let me know, like, do you feel that you're filled with worry and doubt or what's a scenario that you're about to face that you, you have a lot of negative uh, projections about, all right? Leave them down in the comments below and let's discuss, okay? But again, share this video with someone you know who worries just a little bit too much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. So click that little round subscribe button and boom, there's that video I promised you right there, okay? So check that one out. And also be sure to watch Sensei this weekend. I'm gonna do a review too, all right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.